An electrical problem at the St. Andrews Anglican Secondary School has forced a temporary halt to classes on the compound. Speaking to Principal Diane Jeffrey on Tuesday, she says the ministry responded quickly to assess the situation and recommended the closure with hope for a speedy resolve. This, however, is not the only challenge the school faces. Lack of adequate spacing to accommodate students is one of these challenges. So anytime we have the upper classes to coming in together, it's a challenge with space. Okay. For the lower classes, because this, this size remains um, constant, it remains the same, it's also a challenge, but in a different way. The challenge is that they cannot all come in at the same time, so they had to be grouped. Mrs. Jeffrey identified another pitfall. However, she says it is better today than it was yesterday. They have resorted to some alternative methods of teaching, where live sessions are held with students, some of which were interactive. Being online again is in itself is another challenge. We were in the process of, um, because since we, have, we had launched our website, and we now have um, from the Ministry of Education program, the e-book devices, and um, we had a little taste of the, the e-learning and so on. We had been putting things in place to accommodate for if at any point we had to go back out and function remotely. However, we were not finished with implementing all of um, what we needed to implement to facilitate that smooth transition. Um, as a result, we are still encountering some challenges um, with our virtual or our remote um, mode of education. During the past week, she says, they worked through some other teething issues, such as getting students and teachers familiarized with their e-book devices. Managing the six-foot distancing among students is another task at hand. However, they are managing the best they can. The positive outcome from this experience, she says, is learning to adapt quickly to the changes that have come about. She implores parents to work along with the educators at the school for the safety and educational development of their children. Christina John, GBN News.